So here's a nice and clever puzzle for you. You have all these streets and you want to go from P to Q, but you can only travel right or down. And the question for you is, how many paths lead from P to Q if you can only travel right or down? So pause the video, try to solve the puzzle and subscribe for more, because I'll be giving you the solution right now. And for the solution, consider the points A and B. And so now you can clearly see that to go from P to Q, you can go from P to A and then from A to Q, or you can go from P to B and then from B to Q. Everything is really symmetrical in this puzzle. So now let's calculate the paths from P to A. There's one like that, there's two like that, and there's three like that. So we have three paths that go from P to A. And being everything really symmetrical, we also have three paths from A to Q. And I can combine any path from P to A with any path from A to Q. So I have to multiply those numbers and I get nine paths from P to Q going through A. And on the other side, I also have three times three paths. That is nine paths that go from P to Q going through B and I add them and I get 18 paths and that's the solution, but wait. The interesting fact here is that paths in series correspond to multiplication and correspond to the AND operation in logic, while paths in parallel correspond to the SUM and they also correspond to the OR in logic. And that's a good place to stop.